Don't you hate it when you leave your wallet in the house and avoid getting crushed by an exploding tree? This is why bike lanes are always a good idea, because of sidewalk trucks. Sadly, this guy's bike wasn't as lucky as him. Some people just get sick and tired of walking everywhere and decide to travel like this instead. This guy is clearly a hero, but who decided to build a pedestrian crossing on a train line? If you make this half-court shot, then you can win, well, the $100,000 that that guy's just won. Congratulations to Evan! How many hours of practice do you need before this is considered skill, not luck? Luckily, no one would try to ski on this treacherous mountainside. Oh. Wait. How do you judge who your real friends are? Yo, what? Dude. Like this. No! Let's go! When you accidentally bump into someone who turns out to be your new hero. It's not often that hospitals see two identical volleyball injuries at the same time. Luckily, they didn't on this day either. Yep, he's clearly just slipped into the matrix, even though his face has luck written all over it. If those jumps get any higher, he may be in danger of leaving the Earth's atmosphere. I'm not sure who this guy's gymnastics coach was, but he's clearly someone who has no respect for the laws of physics. When you suddenly realize that you might be related to Thor, God of Thunder. Haley, do it. Do it. A dress in the rain Haley, might be it. unlucky, but wait for it. He's quick, he's smooth, and he knows it. There's nothing quicker than alcohol reflexes. Some cars just aren't built for speed, or off-road, or anything. Surely there must be some other form of braking available, rather than her leg? Luckily, she didn't head down the rest of the hill sans wheels. <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, the magical beer. No brakes, no helmet, no problem. Especially when you have skill, luck, and some very understanding motorists. Here's a classy and non-embarrassing way to arrive at your destination. Luckily, their legs were uncrushed by the falling bike. Can lightning strike a ball if you spray it with iron particles? Here's the answer. Okay, very impressive. Now just make the freaking cocktail, will you? Lucky people can still fall. They just do it with style. Oh, ho, ho. Yo. The confidence of someone who gets a strike but always knew they were going to anyway. If you're scared of heights, then grab onto whatever you can. <laughs> <laughs> 
Here are those incredible alcohol reflexes again, faster than a speeding bullet. A great advertisement for this phone mount, and for this guy's natural good luck. He couldn't have gotten closer if he'd been guided by lasers. This is clearly half car, half submarine. Either that or a combination of stupidity and blind luck. This precision landing is clearly due to plenty of skill, although a bit of luck probably doesn't hurt when it comes to staying dry. If you travel over this road on a regular basis, you're lucky to still be alive. There's no better way to start off a relaxing day at the beach than with a multiple backward somersault and a massive helping of luck. Having an accident at this speed is pretty terrifying, and narrowly avoiding one isn't great either. When you work in a garage, you have to have tire control in the same way soccer players have ball control. I suppose losing some beard is better than losing an entire beard. Yes, that's an escaped bull. Quick, someone put on a matador's outfit! Not many humans are lucky enough to be invited to a sea lion's birthday party. These two orcas are seriously analyzing the pros and cons of a coordinated attack. A fearsome sight for any lone seal. Pablo! <gasps> well, this seems safe. Yeah, like I said, perfectly safe. your local pool, then you're probably used to swimming with annoying kids. But anacondas are where everyone should draw the line. This kid has just made history as the first ever person to beat Tetris. Now he just has another 40 years worth of games to get through. when your gymnastics pays off in your skating. Luckily, everyone managed to run out of the way quickly, which is a good thing to do when a massive crane comes crashing to the ground. Better the bicycle than the person on it. Catching and chugging a beer while crowd surfing? It doesn't get more rock and roll than that. Being a war correspondent can be dangerous, of course, but not usually because you're looking out for low-flying helicopters. Now this is what you call a save. How to do a comedy fall without even falling. It's still a strike, even if you throw the ball and yourself. And now the deadliest boomerang in the world. A ghost must have helped him here. Yes, here she is, the accidental Tiger Woods of mini golf. I believe this is what they call extreme flirting. Don't you just hate it when you just want some instant noodles, but all you get is a bunch of lousy iPhones?
This table clearly tells you which hole to use. Or is this just the luckiest pool player ever? When something like this happens, you can only stay cool for so long. Every snowboarder's worst nightmare. A rogue squirrel! Siellä on myöskin sitten, ei ole jäniskevennys, vaan on uh, orava ilmeisesti, joka siellä vähän... Yes, this is a woman in the lion enclosure of a zoo. And no, she shouldn't be in there. And yes, she did make it out without being injured. Amazingly. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Those fish like the taste of people. These guys are about to run away very quickly, and you're about to see why. Here's a visual representation of the word almost. It's just like threading a needle, but wetter. Crossing roads in Vietnam clearly requires perfect timing and nerves of steel. A pinata is no match for Wonder Woman and her huge stick. And neither are any of her friends. An impressive strike from a distance, followed by an equally impressive amount of smugness. Why don't we ever see this event in the Olympics? This cheerleader was almost significantly less cheerful. Why use a bottle opener? There are much cooler ways to achieve your objective. Yes, that's pretty cool, but do these people not have jobs to go to? And now here's a wheelie with the wrong wheel. In this version of football, you can use your feet and everything else. This is why they say women are multitaskers. In the right hands, anything can be a bike lane. And to finish, one of the unluckiest people ever caught on camera. Wait, if you love our videos, be sure to check out Retrocast. And if Retrocast isn't your thing, don't worry, we have another Akimbo video for you.